So if you are wondering if it's possible to get Google Play App Store on your Fire Stick, then the short answer is no, but luckily there is an amazing alternative. There is a secret alternative app store which you can use on any Amazon Fire Stick device to get loads of apps which are not available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And there are all kinds of apps. Movies, TV shows, media players, IPTV players, sports, live TV apps, and so on. And the whole setup process is actually really easy. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get that app to your device. And first of all, you need to get the app called Downloader to your Fire Stick. So if you already have Downloader on your device and it is properly set up, then you could actually skip this step. But if you don't have Downloader yet, or you are unsure if it is set up correctly, then of course you need to follow me. So we just have to go to the search bar on your Fire Stick, open search, and start typing Downloader in here. And then, as you can see, Downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. Just click on it, and here's the app, which you need to get to your device. But then, after you got the loader, it's not over yet, because you still have to set it up. So now, in order to actually set up the loader, we'll do it together. Just click that button with a gear icon, scroll down, and then head to My Fire TV. You open it, and now from here, what you need to do is turn on the developer options. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, then no need to worry, because it's pretty easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to start clicking on the middle button on your remote. And do it fast, so let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom, it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it's gonna say that you have become a developer now. Now if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options. Open them, make sure to turn on the ADB debugging right here, then go to install and on apps, and from here, all you have to do is locate downloader and turn the option on. So what it does, it's gonna allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in your official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we'll do right now. So now we just go back to the list of apps on your device. Let's open it, wait a moment until it loads, and here is the downloader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But then, before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. And it's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost only a couple of bucks per month, which is a great pricing for us, the users. All you have to do in a VPN app is just select any location and connect to it. Let's say we will connect to France right now. And from the moment you connect, all your traffic is gonna be totally encrypted. It means that no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, then I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below this video, or in the description of this video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV, or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone, or your computer, open up a web browser, and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for an RDPN, with game months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way 
and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now finally, let's use Downloader safely. So now let's go back to a list of apps on your device, locate Downloader, uh, there it is, open it. And now in the search bar, we need to enter a link, which will be applinked.store. So let me enter that together with you. So it's applinked dot store. So here you go. You can see the link on your screen. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see and do not make any mistakes because obviously if you make a mistake, then the link will not work. After that, click go. And while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel. So you will get even more content about Firesticks. Then this web page will open up and you just have to click on download app link right here. And now the load of the app has started. Then you also click install and just wait a bit until this alternative app store gets installed to your Fire Stick. And after that, don't click on open yet. Instead, press done because this way you get an option to delete the installation files, which you do not need anymore on your Fire Stick device. So just click on delete and then delete once again. This way you will be able to save yourself some free space on your Fire Stick. And it's really important because by default, your Fire Stick doesn't really have too much of free space available anyway. And now we need to go to settings one more time actually. So go back to settings, open my Fire TV, go to developer options, install unknown apps. And now this time you also have to turn that option on for app linked. So app linked is the alternative app store which we'll be using instead of Google Play Store on your Fire Stick. So just open it. I mean, turn that option on. And then let's go and take a look at the list of apps on your device. So when you open the list of apps, here you will see the app link, which we just got. So now, first of all, I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote. That is the button with three horizontal lines right next to the home button on your remote. Just click on it and then press on move to front. This way, the app will always be at the very top of your application list. And therefore, it's gonna be way easier for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. And once again, you can use a link below this video to get three months of NordVPN totally for free. After that, let's finally open this alternative app store on your Fire Stick. So when you open it, you will see such a screen. And from here, you can either go to public stores and you will see all the apps that are listed in this alternative app store. Or alternatively, if you scroll down a bit more, you'll see app categories such as live streaming, utilities, movies and TV shows, sports, games, and verified apps. So let's say you open games and in here you will have access to all kinds of games that you could play on your Fire Stick device. I just had to blur out my screen because YouTube doesn't allow me to show you the exact applications available in here. But in your case, of course, it's not going to be blurred. Or let's say if you are not into games, but you want to get some movie apps, just go back and instead of games, you select the movies and TV shows category. And again, I had to blur out my screen for the same reason as before, but there basically you get access to loads of movie and TV shows applications. And there are lots of them, and they are better than the ones you would find in the official Google Play Store. So that's the easy way to fully load your Fire Stick in 2025. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye-bye.